Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle and I have a K's scented wax melts haul to share today. I am um, branching out a little bit, I guess, again. <laughs> I kind of did this a few years ago, ordered a bunch from other companies. Anyway, doing it again. Um, I ordered from K's. I love K's. I have ordered from them a few times before. The things that are unique about K's are for vendor wax are one, you can go on the website and order scents at any time. There's no Hunger Games style ordering with K's. Second, you can do customs. Um, you can ask them, give them certain scents, and even if you want like percentages of each scent, that they will then do the work and blend it and then send it to you to enjoy and melt. So that's great. I have some clamshells here, and I also have a couple of the customs that I was trying to dupe a scent, or a couple scents. Um, we'll talk about that when I get to those. But anyway, all right, let's start sniffing. I don't think, if I remember correctly, I haven't smelled any of these before that's in the um, clamshells. So, Holiday Drive. This is a house blend. And it is Fraser Fur Espresso and Bake Shop. And I did look up Bake Shop. It is buttery vanilla, fresh dough, cake batter, sugar, and almond. So I'm hoping this is more of an, a coffee scent than the uh, Bake Shop. Uh, it's a good blend, actually, of both. I would say probably 50-50. And as far as the Fraser fur, ooh, that's like maybe 20% of the scent. I barely get it kind of in the background. But it's nice. That will be very interesting to melt. And for me, a coffee scent is going to be melted in my <laughs> kitchen. I usually lean toward fresh and fruity scents. I like the occasional bakery and the occasional, you know, spice or floral or whatever, but just to give you an idea of kind of what I usually gravitate toward. I enjoy that. That's very nice. Next is Kevin, and this is a house blend as well with sugar cookie crunch. Uh, I'm so Macintosh apple and Jack Frost, and I better look up some Jack Frost. I ordered this because Catherine King talked about how wonderful the scent is here on YouTube. Catherine King, a cool, crisp blend of mint with wisps of vanilla compared to Yankee. I don't know if I've smelled Jack Frost from Yankee. Mint. Oh. Mm. <laughs> okay. A little more about me. I don't like peppermint. That's definitely what I get here. I do kind of get this sugar cookie, though, with it. Apple. I don't know. I get a lot of peppermint. Hopefully that peppermint will die down when it's melting. <laughs> oh well, at least I tried it, right? Um, smell of weather turning, which is a lush type. It is oak moss, chamomile, cinnamon, and mint. So this, it said, um, what, I forget what the description said, not herbal or something like that. Well. Heck, let's look it up because I feel like there was a little more than what's on the front of this well not here nettle wait what smell of weather kind of different actually scent notes here on the website it says nettle oak hay beeswax beeswax <laughs> beeswax mint chamomile oak moss and cinnamon so okay more 
nettle oak and hay and beeswax are not on this. Okay, I don't, if you're scared of cinnamon, I don't really get cinnamon at all, and I tend to try to leave cinnamon behind. <laughs> I kind of get the nettle oak, hay, it's kind of the oak moss. It's kind of earthy with a little bit of that chamomile and a little bit of mint. It's nice. I'll be interested to see how that does more. Next is the Nutcracker House Blend. It's a sugar plum scent with toast, uh, frosted berries, berry moss, and vanilla cashmere. The plum scent is what is what made me get this because uh, Scentsy's Dancing Sugar Plum did not come back in the catalog, so I gotta find me a replacement that I can get anytime I want, hence Kay's um, trying out a Kay scent. Okay, this is kind of light. I kind of get a berry mousse as well with like a little bit of an added plum. It's nice. It smells really light though, so I'm not sure how that's gonna do warm. Um, but it, yeah, it's kind of a creamy berry plum mousse type scent. Oh, well, I got some um, samples that we'll discuss too. Forgot about that. Oh, Snowflakes and Cashmere Bath and Body Works type. I love this scent from Bath and Body Works. Cashmere cream, clementine, white tea, amber, and caramel. Mmm, it's the coziest, kind of fresh, creamy. Yes, this is really good. It's very creamy, um, kind of similar in a way to American cream which has more of a strawberry note. This is more like um, kind of that warm caramel, but not like an edible scent at all. Kind of cozy. Kind of cool, but cozy at the same time. Oh, let's do the um, samples, I'm telling you. All right, this is what, Christmas past. And I'm on the website, so I may as well look it up. I should have gotten these out and added it to my spreadsheet so I wouldn't have to keep going to the website and looking it up. Okay, Christmas past is citrus, pine, clove, and cinnamon, notes of caramel and musk. Okay, as long as the clove and cinnamon's not super heavy, I'll probably like this scent. The clove and cinnamon are heavy. <laughs> I get clove first, then pine, then cinnamon, and then lots of musk for me that kind of a dirty musk to be nice, I guess. Okay. Oh, another tester. Cashmere clouds and cute little shapes. Cashmere clouds. A delicate, a delicate fragrance of blackberry, vanilla, orchid, sheer cashmere, and cotton candy musk. Sounds like something I'll like. This reminds me of something. I get a really creamy body care blackberry. A little bit of that cashmere kind of musk there. What is this reminding me of? 
think it's something from Scentsy, but I cannot put my finger on it. Um, I'm sure it'll come to me when I'm trying to go to sleep tonight. Oh, got my high chew. Nutmeg and spice. I think, is this a Bath and Body Works dupe? Yep. Compared to Bath and Body Works, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, caramel, and vanilla. Hopefully cinnamon and clove are in the very, very background. Okay, this is a great blend of all of those. It's when the clove is like overpowering or cinnamon is overpowering everything that I can't take it. <laughs> this is a great blend. That nutmeg is really smooth with the caramel and vanilla kind of rounding out the spiciness so that it's not sharp or offensive. I like that. I like that. That would be a spice scent that I would repurchase. Okay. I think that's, yeah, that's it for the samples. Eggnog. I needed to try some eggnog scents because I did not put the Scentsy eggnog in my Scentsy Club. Even if I did, I'd probably have cut it by now. Anyway, this is vanilla, amaretto, rum, butter, milk, and sugar. I want like a really thick, rich, creamy eggnog. Even a little warmness from that rum in there would be great. Okay, this is good. Not quite as rich, um, heavy that I would want, but it is creamy and eggnog-esque. Yeah, it may get a little heavier, I guess, um, warm. We'll see. I think I also got an eggnog scent from, oh my gosh, y'all, I've place so many orders lately. Um, I have something coming from Teddy B's. I have some coming from Rose Girls, something from Sassy Girl, from Super Tarts, from L3. Ooh, when I say them out loud, that sounds like a lot. Anyway, I have some eggnog scents, I think with Super Tarts and one other one. So I wanted to try a variety of eggnog scents to find a good one for the winter. Okay, anyway, Cringleberry is the next one here. And it is hollyberry, I'm not going to try to read that backwards, hollyberry, cranberry, lily, orange, apple, and evergreen. Now, this sounds right up my alley with that fruitiness and a freshness from that evergreen, hopefully. Yes, red berry and evergreen. I get more of the um, evergreen on the bottom. But it's, I think, a great blend of those. Perfect. I'm looking for something kind of like um, Be Mary replacement. And yes, I'm talking about Scentsy maybe more than I should, but that's, I feel like, more um, relatable, I guess, to compare things to. Already. Mega pint. <laughs> I saw this. I was like, I'm getting that. <laughs> it had a picture of uh, Johnny Depp on the stand, right? With the mega pint. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a house blend. Blackberry Bordeaux, Beach Nights, and Cherry Slushy. Mm. So that's three blends together. Oh, which one shall we look up first? Blackberry Bordeaux. Apparently I spelled it. Oh yeah, that's a typing error. <laughs> Blackberry. Oh, forgot the D also. Okay, Blackberry Bordeaux is Blackberry 
cassis, dark cherry, vanilla, bourbon, coffee bean, and then I'm going to look up cherry slushy because, well, we probably have an idea of that, don't we? Oh, that's right. Um, the cherry slushy is only available in the custom cuts, but I think it's just cherry and sugar, basically. And then beach nights, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, that's a Bath and Body Works, like, scent that a lot of vendors use. Uh, beach nights, toasted marshmallows, sea salt breeze, a hint of chocolate graham cracker. Oh, man. Okay, Mega Pint. Okay, so I think what I'm getting most, that cherry slushy, the cherry really stands out. But then behind that is that like blackberry Bordeaux. Really warms it up. This is a really good like fruity, sweet scent. And I get a little bit of that toasted marshmallow. Oh, I might really like this. Ooh, Mega Pint. That's an awesome blend. Way to go. <laughs> All right. Pink Marshmallow World. This is a house blend of fluffy marshmallow, pink sugar, and peppermint stick. So, because the picture had a pink marshmallow, I'm really hoping that the peppermint stick is like very teeny tiny. I want it really sweet and and marshmallow y. Nope. It's got quite a bit of cinnamon. I mean candy cane, peppermint. <sighs> okay, for me it might be good for my sinuses. <laughs> It has some sweetness there, but I want more. Fluffy marshmallow, pink sugar, and peppermint stick. Pink sugar. Did I get any? I guess, just a tiny bit. Definitely, to my nose anyway, I get the peppermint first, then the marshmallow, and then, I mean, very little of that pink sugar scent in there. All right, and that gets us to some blends and custom cut. So, I recently found Ashley O'Reilly's YouTube channel. Love her videos, love her. And one of her, um, I think weekly, what I've been melting videos, she mentioned summer linen from K's and that it was a must have, a good fresh linen scent. Well, that's right up my alley and so I went ahead and took the plunge there and got it in a, a the eight ounce custom cut it is white peach lavender coconut and sheer cotton base now see I'm not a huge peach fan but with linen th that goes well I wish the lavender was a little more prominent, but I do get it as well. Coconut. Probably the least amount um, of scent that I get is the coconut. So in order, I personally get the peach, the linen, then the lavender, and then and then that coconut. Okay, that's nice. I do like that. I'm gonna enjoy that one. Now, for the two customs that I got. So, both of these scents, I was trying to come up with something similar to Super Tarts. I guess I'll talk about the Super Tarts blend first. 
So the first one, and you can tell how old this bag is from Super Tarts because I think her label has changed a few times since this. It is Eden, which used to be, um, Lost Boys, and it is pomegranate apple cider and toasted marshmallows. So it's a really, I guess, pomegranate and apple cider scent with lots of marshmallow. I'd say like half of it. Uh, maybe equal parts of all three of those. Mm. Anyway, definitely get that creamy marshmallow toastedness. So out of Kay's options, I went with pomegranate, cider lane, and toasted marshmallow. I could not find like a straight up apple cider scent uh, to use here. So that's why I went with the cider lane. And I figured that kind of creaminess in cider lane would just lend to the toasted marshmallow. But I love my pomegranate scents, y'all. And they're great for this time of year when, you know, we're still in the 90s here, so I'm not ready for, you know, super fall type scents, but when it's pomegranate and apple cider and marshmallow, sure. Ooh, yeah. I get kind of equal parts, I think. Actually, on, uh, was it this one? Yes, so on the invoice, it says pomegranate is 70% and cider lane is 20% and the toasted marshmallow is 10%. And I did not tell her, you know, how much to put in anything. I did. I just said, I trust your judgment. I want the pomegranate to be the star is I think all I said. Yes. So I kind of left it up to her because I didn't exactly want to try to dupe the scent from Super Tarts. I wanted to be inspired by it, you know. That's really good. Um, I'll let you know in my weekly meltdowns on non sensey weeks what I think of that melted. But I, I get the pomegranate first and foremost. And then that kind of cider lane, um, crispy apple, but with that smooth cider part of it and a little bit of creaminess and then that extra marshmallow. I love it, love it. I might would make some adjustments, but it's not like I don't like it as is either. Okay, the next scent I was being inspired by from Super Tarts is Embers. And this was also previously known as, Are You Afraid of the Dark? And again, it's an older bag, and I've been hoarding it because it's hard to order from Super Tarts sometimes. And you have to wait a while. So this is orange, campfire, marshmallow, fluff, and buttercream from Super Tarts. So it is probably maybe 40% marshmallow, I mean orange. You know that it's orange in here, but it is extreme amount of sweetness and a little bit of campfire kind of added to it. Yeah, buttercream and marshmallow fluff are the creaminess. Anyway. So, what I tried from Kay's is mixing freshly squeezed orange juice, Bonfire Bliss, and marshmallow. I think, um, I think I still have it up. I want to look up Bonfire Bliss to see what's in that. Bonfire Bliss is dried leaves, charred woods of pine, cedar, Smoky sandalwood with hint of roasted marshmallow, brown sugar, coconut, and soft vanilla. Mm. 
I thought all those would go well together and give me something kind of like the Super Tarts blend. Okay, it's kind of coming off as a candied orange with just the smallest amount of like the Bonfire Bliss scent notes, like way in the background. I like it, but I will definitely amp up or maybe switch out. I will either amp up the Bonfire Bliss or change the marshmallow to toasted marshmallow or maybe replace the Bonfire Bliss with toasted marshmallow and have the marshmallow and toasted marshmallow. I don't know. Anyway, it's definitely not just an orange scent, but it still is, I'd say... 60 to 70 percent orange here so i will enjoy it and i may even um next time i place an order with k's get some of the scent notes in like a clamshell so i can amp it up and kind of see how much more i want of a certain scent added to it so okay that's my k's scented wax melt haul and i am very happy with all my purchases i think my favorites would be obviously besides my case cuts <laughs> um out of the clam shells okay out of the clam shells would be and i knew this was the case snowflakes and cashmere the bath and body work bath and body works type the kringleberry I kind of figured that would be one of my favorites. And then, kind of a surprise, but not at the same time, Mega Pint. It's got the fruitiness and sweetness. Yeah, it's good. All right, so that wraps it up. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. And if you like to see more of my content, you can subscribe and because it's free. <laughs> You just have to log in with your Google account and subscribe. That way, when I upload new videos, it will show in your subscription feed. Thank you for stopping by, and I will see you on Wednesday for another meltdown to give you my thoughts on what I've warmed in my house over the last week. And until then, have a great rest of your day and a great